1980 film Fame is based on performing arts high school LaGuardia, a specialized school for students with unique talents in the arts, one that requires an audition. If you don't give your academic subjects equal time, you're out. According to some students, alumni, and parents, the current principal, Dr. Lisa Mars, has placed a bigger focus on middle school academic records and attendance when it comes to accepting students, and they say it's keeping many gifted performers out. This is not Brooklyn Tech. This is not Stuyvesant. This is LaGuardia. Parents and alumni held a silent protest outside LaGuardia High School this afternoon, just days after students staged a sit-in in in the hallways. Some of us wake up at 4 in the morning to be here to get the best dance, acting, singing education that we possibly can. More than 12,000 people have signed an online petition on change.org that was created years ago, calling for the admissions criteria to be changed back and effective leadership. Several teachers who did not want to appear on camera say that currently, if a student gets anything under an 80 in any subject in middle school, they won't be accepted into this high school, even if they score a 100 in the audition. Whereas in years past, they say they could negotiate to get really gifted performers in, even if they had a C in a subject. But the Department of Education says the current policy has been in place for over a decade, writing in part, the school's admission policy has long included audition and academic requirements. The DOE sent us this blurb from what they say is a 2008 high school directory that shows 80 or above for grades. We've tried repeatedly to get in touch with the principal, but have not heard back. We were told we couldn't enter the school, but the administration knew we were here. All of the students we spoke to are already enrolled in the school, so why protest the admissions policy? In the future of LaGuardia are the people who are accepted into the school. Late this afternoon, the executive superintendent and superintendent met with students and parents. And for the first time, students say they felt their voices were heard. They're hoping a repeat performance of protest isn't needed again. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.